Last summer's Yellowstone fish kill shined a light on Montana's fish health lab. And for the past three decades, the lab's knowledge and understanding of fish disease has grown rapidly. Our ability to detect these organisms has, has improved greatly over the years. And as these tools develop, it really helps expand our knowledge base of the, of the organisms and, and the disease processes and how they work, how they're spread. Just like doctors try to prevent disease in humans, Montana's Fish Health Lab works to prevent disease in fish. But unlike humans, once disease appears in wild fish, it's a challenge to cure. That's why we put so much effort into these prevention programs. And one of the ways we can do that is be very careful how and when we move fish. Maintaining healthy fish populations is an ever-evolving challenge. But for Montana's Fish Health Lab, the goal is to provide the most up-to-the-date information to limit outbreaks. What we're doing on a daily basis, testing, surveying, things like that, our knowledge of these organisms in Montana, you know, changes. And then, you know, throw on top of that our knowledge of the organism. There's people, researchers all over the country looking at these organisms in the laboratory setting. So it all, it all goes in the hopper. And like I say, we, we take the best information we have at any one time and make the best decisions we can to do the best we can for the resource. I'm Winston Greeley, out among Montana's fish, wildlife, and parks. Some of those parasites, you know, they're pretty good size. They